the crowd is always just so supportive. Every time you know I want to start a clap, they clap for me, you know, and they cheer me on throughout the whole meet. So it's just all love, for, you know, this this meet and uh, Christian and I. We always you know want to have fun. So definitely it was probably one of the you know the funnest. This is one of the funnest meets for us. Right? Right. Do you have indicators in training that you could get a jump out there like um, that? To tell you the truth, two weeks ago I couldn't even jump at practice. Um, I was trying to jump and I uh, had some, you know, nerve issues. My leg was giving out. I wasn't even able to jump. Uh, so the past couple weeks I've been just getting treatment and things like that, and uh, you know, trying to work back into it. But you know, I knew I had you know something in me, but you know, I feel like God, God knew better than I did because I didn't know I had that in me. What's it like to really get out there in front of a U.S. crowd too, not having to go over to Europe? Like you can stay in the States and feel a little bit more comfortable, right? It's the best thing in the world, man. That's what like, you know, this is all we really have, you know, as far as U.S. meets, the biggest U.S. meet we have. So uh, it's great, you know, to be here and you know, the crowd is so supportive, man. It's like, you don't get that everywhere. You know, some meets you'll, you'll go and, you know, the crowd doesn't even know what's going on. So I just, you know, love to jump here. If I could, I'd jump here every week. <laughs> You seem pretty fired up. Was that part of the crowd? You were sort of feeding off the crowd? Yeah, they, they just had me buzzing. You know, uh, it's just, once, once I get that energy in me from the crowd, it's like nothing can stop me. You know, it's just kind of like a daze. It's like I'm dreaming, like I'm just out there. Whatever it takes me, takes me. And I just go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Great. You, nice job, man. And Heather, my coach, gave me the very best advice right before I headed out. She said, I'll make this really simple. Just forget about the different mantras and the different plans and things and just go out and get on Phoebe and run hard. And just do that and you won't regret it. And so that's definitely what I did. And I was a little bit surprised Eric Galway was on the inside of me. So I thought, okay, at least the first hundred I'll have a gauge of whether she's going to go at the pace or not. And she pretty easily let me go by and take the spot right behind Phoebe. And, um, and so just kind of like the World Championships, I just committed and said, all right, she's going to be there hopefully for a thousand meters and I'll see what I can do. So Jason's on for the race, you're here to take advantage of the opportunity. Yes. I really do. It's really early in the season and so it's, it's tough because I have like so many expectations on myself. It's all, it's all me. <laughs> um, but I thought, I know it's early in the season, so if you walk away a little bit less than perfect, that's okay, but you're in the United States, you're in front of crowds that want you to win, and the pace is going to go 206. I've never gone through faster than I did in Shanghai, so I said no matter what, at 800 meters I want to go through faster than I've ever gone, and hang on for dear life and see what happens. And if I end up last, or if I end up fifth, or if I end up winning, then at least you'll know what you're capable of after. <laughs> Uh, from this race, um, that from way up front or coming from behind a little bit, I still got to work on that, you know, from 200 to go to 100 to go. Uh, that's where I keep getting kind of like gapped a little bit. So um, I want to keep racing different ways. I don't want to always be the person that goes out to the front or the person that hangs back and kicks hard. I want to try different ways. And so the takeaway from today is definitely still with 200 to go, I can't save up for that kick. I gotta stay on whoever's there. So that's. This, uh, this PB is now more in line with you know, your global accomplishments. Are you looking at the American record now down the line this season? I mean, anyone that's running the 1500 meters, often as I am, right around the four minute threshold, that's in the back of my mind, you know? And I keep thinking, you know, I'm gonna see that 255 with a lot to go. And the more times I see that, the more times I have a chance to try and go after the record. Um, but honestly, I didn't get ahead of myself today. I didn't think today is definitely the day I have to go for it. It would have been beautiful if it happened, but it's been five years since it broke four minutes. So I, at least I feel fortunate that I have coaches that are wise and been around the sport for a long time, and they knew breaking four has to be the focus um, before we even think about the American record. Is there like a meet winner in the summer you're really gearing up and you might make an attempt at it? You think? Um, not, not specifically. There's not a star on any meet saying this is the American record attempt. Um, but, I mean, you guys watch a lot of 15s. There can be a pacer, there can be great field, 
and then they can go out in the field jobs. So sometimes you got to take the conditions as they come. And so I think the most important thing for being ready to run the American record is being fit and ready to go every race. And then if the pace goes, if you're feeling it, if the weather's great, then you're ready to do it. You're not piling it all on for just one opportunity. So hopefully this year I have four or five more opportunities to try. Yeah, in that race. Definitely. Yeah, so under 9.8, right? How's that feel? Like I said, I mean, my whole model this year is just go. You know? So uh, some of my teammates are laughing because they call me Ricky Bobby right now, but all I want to do is go fast, you know? So um, not, I don't have to govern myself this year. I don't have to wait to peak for championships or just one finals. I can go out there and run as fast as I want, when I want to run. So right now, like I told you guys, when I left uh, Beijing, you know, I want to go faster through Fontaine. I got Rome in a couple of days, so I want to go even faster as well. It, it's important. I think, you know, uh, they always say that, you know, a young athlete can bounce back really quick and eat whatever they want to eat. But, you know, they'll probably get away with it for a couple of years, but I mean, right now, I just want to be able to strong and shake, eat it, eat a lot of vegetables, <laughs> and um, just get ready for the next race. You know, not two races back to back, but just have a series of races to rest and make a photo of that race. What's it like for you to compete in front of the U.S. crowd and get the win? You know, like I was, I was saying actually earlier, you know, um, it's great competing um, in front of my sponsor in China, you know, but it's even better competing at home in America. You know, we don't have that, we have a rare opportunity to compete in you know, a sold out crowd. Uh, it's not Olympic trials, nationals, but just a, a real track and field race, you know, and to, to be able to be here last night. And watch me and what Molly he did last night to get an inspiration to come out here today. How do you like running here 